What's up you guys? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Jessica. If you don't know that already, I love all things makeup and beauty. So um, in today's video, but I'm actually going to be doing a look that I did. I filmed it for Sticks and Sponges. So um, if you don't know, if you don't know about their makeup secrets, I actually did a video for them on my makeup secret, which is how to get like the perfect, like precise glitter liner. I'm going to recreate that look today because I actually never posted that on my social medias because that was um, that was a video that was specifically for them but since then they have released their makeup secrets that volume I can't remember if it was volume two or three but I was in it so I really wanted to recreate that look for my channel today because it was such a pretty look that I did um, and the palettes that we're going to be using today is going to be the Jawbreaker palette and the Spoiled Lips Cosmetics Holy Grail palette, which, okay, stunning, stunning glitter. Um, it's, I've actually used this quite a bit and it's lasted me so long. So, um, yeah, so we're going to be using those palettes today. So if you're interested to see what look I created, please keep on watching. So as always, I'm going to start by priming my eyelid with the P. Louise base in the shade 2. And I've been doing it the lazy way and just using a sponge. But usually I would use a brush and like pat, 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 pat it in. But, oh, I'm so gosh darn lazy. That, and then I'm going to start by taking the Jawbreaker palette. Let me open her up. So for that specific look that I did, I'm going to take Gumdrop right there and I'm going to pack it down in the shape of the cut crease that I want. So I always start by packing the color down and then blending it up and out because I really want the pigmentation to be there. First things first. So then I take it like kind of the shape of my brow and then after I pass my brow is when I'll round it up and flick it out. So whenever I do my cut creases I'll follow my brow and then I'll bring it around. That way when I do the when I do like the other side they're at least kind of the same even though my brows are like <laughs> never the same. So I mean I guess it's not really a hack it's just a disaster. So I'm going to at least look that up. And then I'm going to start blending that out for the next color. Alright, now that we're looking real nice and crazy, I'm going to take Brain Freeze right there. And I'm going to blend that out. And I'm just going to take it in little small circular motions and very lightly blend it up. I'm just kind of setting it where I diffuse that purple and then I'll blend it up above that. What gave me the inspiration for this look was actually a glitter from the Spoiled Lips palette because it had the purple and blue like reflex in it, which is the glitter that I'm going to use today. And I just seen it and I was like, hella inspo, bitch, hella inspo. Oh God. <laughs> so I'm five months pregnant and I've been craving meat and I'm not a big meat eater. Like I like meat, don't get me wrong but like I don't like crave it like this and I've been like literally dying for it and I can't wait for dinner because I'll make chicken tacos so this brush is stained a lot of my brushes are so I like colorful looks colorful looks stain but I'm just gonna so I'm just gonna take this clean brush and diffuse the edges of this make it really really soft and light so then I'm gonna go back in with gumdrop which is that lilac purple 
and I'm going to repack it down to really give that purple effect with no additional product I'll blend that back out with the blue and then back with the clean brush fun fact um, the video that I actually filmed for sticks and sponges was the first video that I ever filmed talking in a video like I was just doing my Instagram videos where like it was just you know the the music kind of playing in the background like I, I did videos before but I never talked in a video so that was actually the very first video that I ever talked in oh I was a nervous wreck but we we did that we did that though okay so now to cut this out I'm just gonna go back in with my P. Louise base in the same shade and I'm gonna take my Simply Simon number 10 brush so I always We'll put the product under the back of my hand and this is eyeshadow. I don't even know how I don't even know how I got there. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this down here and then I'm gonna look up and around and all that good stuff. And then I'm gonna do a nice big cut. the initial shape that I want I'm really just going to pat the base in that way it's all even for when I put down the shade I'm gonna use I'm very particular when it comes to uh, my cut creases <laughs> so I'm now gonna take the shade good morning which is the neutral shade right here at the top which is more of like my skin tone and also that base color and I'm going to set that base in place. You know what I didn't even do? I didn't even zoom in. What kind of tutorial is this? That is nice and set down how I like it. So now I'm going to take my Spoiled Lips Cosmetics Holy Grail Glitter Palette. And ugh, I'm going to take this shade right here. So I'm going to take my eyelash glue, which I use the uh, I Envy Super Stronghold for my lashes. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to line this right under this cut crease. And then right after I line it, I'll pack that glitter. So I'm just going to be real messy with it. I'm just going to slap it down. as quickly as possible. Can you just see how pretty that glitter is though? We're not done yet. And then I'm going to take my spoolie and wherever there isn't glue it's going to brush away. Alright. So that doesn't get every last little tiny spick and speck of glitter, but it does get the line as crisp as I need it to be. And so I'm going to go ahead and do the other eye and then probably throw some lashes on and we will be right back. So I am back for the finishing touches. I did do this eye and then I just added some white liner in my waterline. And then I still have to do, um, I still gotta set my face, highlight, and do my lips. So I will do that with 
you guys. So I'm going to go back into that gumdrop shade. And I'm going to just put that onto my lower lash line. Right. And then I'll take Brain Freeze, which is the blue. And then I'll blend it out. I always feel like the lower lash line is like the easiest, fastest part of the whole look. That is it. Wrap it up and put a bow on it. Now I'm going to do my lashes, which I'm going to be using the Sticks and Sponge Lashes, which they say is free on them. They're from Sticks and Sponges, and these ones are in D20. They're so pretty. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to put lash glue on them before I put on my mascara and what have you. That way it has time to get tacky. I think my favorite part of doing my makeup is lashes and highlight. I love lashes so much. It's so expensive though. I have a drawer full of them. And then I'm going in with the Hank and Henry mascara in Clout. I'm going to take the big fat end on my top lashes and then I'll take the little thin side on my bottom lashes. Alright, and then I will take my lash, stick it down in the middle, and then adjust it. I'm going to let those lashes dry down before I press them into my real lashes. Give the glue time to stick. So I'm going to set my face. I'm going to use the Milk Makeup Blur Spray. Get out my fan. Alright, now I'm going to press my lashes down. Lashes are on, looking pretty good. So now I'm going to take my Artist Couture. Um, this is the Diamond Glow Powder in Purple Dream. So, Artist Couture. Purple Dream. Ooh. Ooh, there's a lot in there. Oh, I don't... My kid's getting my shit again. <laughs> You see the purple in it? It's stunning. Kind of has like a pinky to it too. Can't forget my inner corners. Brow bone. Last but not least. Let's see what we got going on on the lips. I think we are going to go for the Hank and Henry um, Lip Lipstick, Liquid Lipstick. He signed right over the name of that one. And this one is in Yo No Se. Alright. So I just took Yo No Se, lined my lips, and then I'm going to go in with... Um, this is Essence of Earth uh, Lip Gloss, and this one is in Juicy Fruit. And I'm going to put that on top. Alright, so this is the finished and completed look. Um, I really love this purpley pinky um, highlighter. I don't wear it that often, so um, I think it just goes really good with this look. I really had a good time creating this, and I really hope that you guys had a good time tuning in. Um, yeah, so. That is it for this tutorial. We're going to go ahead and roll the clip.